have a, a say so, man. And it's the voiceless. And before, there was a big disparity between being a player and actually being an owner. And you understood that they had the power. But the powers that be are now a collective effort, a shared effort, because people respect that people pay hard-earned money to come out to this game. And people will see the players out there as a product, but also as people who were conflicted in the moment when they were being undermined as a man. Right, and now you talked about, we jumped about Diddy buying the Clippers. Diddy got it, Diddy got it! <laughs> All right. What do you think this will do for ownership? Like seeing more people of color and influence yeah. stepping up, owning teams, owning more resources, what do you think that's going to do? Well, I think the smartest thing to do is first of all, put all the, the proper names in a hat, the qualified people. Um, I'm a billion dollars too short. Uh, I got bad credit, so I don't think I'm gonna be in the running. But you know, guys like Magic Johnson, guys like Diddy, uh, who have the opportunity to get an investment group going that can purchase the Clippers. This is the franchise where the, the arrow's pointing up. Um, you look at this franchise and its history before futility, no longer. You got superstars on the court and you got a superstar fan base. So whoever acquires the Clippers going forward is getting the progress of a report of a team that's ready to win. Right, and the last thing, you've had a very successful career in, in your sport, right? Yeah, now, what, what do you see as... Oh, look at me, I'm telling you, okay, okay. go to, the, to that, that furthest line. You know, like you said, it's bigger than basketball. So what do you see, what's, what's the statement you have for the league, the NFL or the NBA moving forward? Well, the statement that was made today is that this is a shared effort. Um, what we see on the field is not just players out there for three hours. This is their lifestyle, this is their livelihood. And other people sacrifice in their own personal day-to-day -day life to make sure that they come out and support that. So you gotta respect us all as business partners. Not just players, not just fans, not just owners. Years past, it was just owners and what they wanted. Now we're all a part of that process and you gotta respect that. Why did you feel it was important to come out tonight to support the team? Uh, well, I was, I was coming out prior to Donald Sterling's remarks and uh, once I heard that, I was gonna boycott this game. You know, my small token of showing uh, my disdain for this moment. Uh, but Adam Silver saved the day in respect of him making a courageous decision to make sure that this Clippers franchise, the NBA brand, doesn't have the cloud hanging over anymore named Donald Sterling. So no longer will we sit in futility with our product on the court, and no longer will we take these disparaging remarks from him in our personal lives. So it's a great moment for Clippers, and now let's look forward to this team contending for a championship. Do you think that the commissioner's decision was greater than just for basketball? Oh, of course, because it's gonna set precedent for every other organization out there, whether it's a sport league or or if it's just you in your own private workplace that okay you're privileged as an owner but that doesn't mean that you own people's morals and ethics and you can say whatever you want you got to respect people even though on the pecking order you may be higher we need to be treated equal and i respect that totally all right real quick oh, what, up, baby? what up let me ask you real quickly uh -huh. uh, I gotta go hey hey what, what mark marcellus won't be no uh won't be no two empty seats right <laughs> and also <laughs> no, i want to ask you this what do you think about all the sponsors? That, uh, how long? Marcellus, how long do you think it's going to take a lot of sponsors to react to this? The ones that have backed away. Oh, their emails are right now in the inbox. They just need to check on them. Sponsors are back, brother. This is a new day for the Clippers, and you got to respect that because this is what's necessary. Thank you, Marcellus. What up, boy?